Word. God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh my gosh, Father, how did you do that? It was so sweet. I wish I could be like that. That's great. Mm. Very eager are you, Damien. Much you have to learn in the ways of Christ, young Padawan. Patience you must have, and wisdom you will know. Yes, Master. Go and teach them you must. Ready now are they for your message. Yes, Master. Everybody, let's just get along. Let's have peace. Anybody want a cookie? Oh, baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Hello, God's Prayer Hotline. What's the problem today? Could you please, please leave God a message? My cat is very sick right now. I have a really big social studies test tomorrow, and I have a lot of problems, and, and I really need God's help. Yep, 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 who does? Uh, uh, okay. Well, God's a little busy with other people right now who have real problems. Well, when God's not so busy, can, can you ask him to answer my prayers? Yep, yep, yep. Jane. Yes, God. Do I have any prayer messages? None that are important. Oh, thank God. What part of thou shall not don't you understand? You dare defy the will of God? What? and understand. See the hand of God. The effect of sin is death. Die, you sinners. Die! 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 I am your father, and I do love you. Looks like you need a hug. Do I have any prayer messages? None that are important. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Life Teeners. Well, here we are on another retreat. I wanted to take this opportunity to cover some rules and regulations. It's very important that we cover these because I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt. In the past, you may have seen teens misbehaving on retreats. In fact, you may have been on a retreat like this before. And that's what they told me. It was the worst fall of my life. They came in and said that I had terrible brain cancer. So guys, I'm dying. 
The Tim McGraw song is true. You should live like you die. Well, that type of behavior is not only inappropriate, it just can't happen. We had to make some changes. When I look for an associate pastor and a youth minister, I look for people with passion, someone who is not afraid to get messy. I think we solved this problem. Let's look at one of our more recent retreats and see what I mean. Just a dog. Some people thought I was crazy when I thought of a retreat team linebacker, but I am a firm proponent of paradigm breaking, outside the box thinking. From the moment I saw Ron and FD in action, I knew they were exactly what our retreats needed and what our teams needed. So you guys having a good time on retreat or what? Just yeah, even the stress, man. Great. Wait, wait. Okay. It's awesome. Wait, yeah. Okay. Oh, I saw somebody. You guys coming. smoking? Can what? I? Can I join you? Oh, I don't. I, are you 18? Yeah. You 18? Yeah. All right. Listen, just don't tell anybody. Ron hates when we do this here. Okay. okay. Here. Oh, it was alright. It was okay. Oh! No! You know you're not supposed to be doing that. What are you thinking? Right here. What is this? What wait, is this? Wait, 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 they're, they're all 18. I don't care if they're 18. You know that's not right. Come on, baby. Oh, oh. It's a retreat. It's true what they say. The only thing better than a retreat team linebacker are two retreat team linebackers. And since making the change, our spirituality on retreats has gone up over 58.6%. And rule breaking? Well, let's just say it's not worth it. This is my world, baby. You just a retreat in here. Woo! Woo! I really do believe that we have brought a whole new spirituality to our program. <laughs> Devastating. So remember, no smoking, no drinking, no purple. No sneaking out at night, and cut the attitude, Hoss. Pay attention. Be courteous. Throw out your trash. Do these things, and we'll avoid any unfortunate accidents. Oh, yeah. Have a good time. Hey, Trace, come on, baby! Get it on! firm proponent of paradigm well, <laughs> and since making that change our people <laughs> so what are you going to do now well I, I guess I better get to know the pastor at St. Mary Father Kevin, I presume. I am. We're going to be working together. I guess so. Is that your bike? Um, yeah. You want to go for a ride? Heck yeah. Hi. We're in Delaware.
We're here at St. Mary Church just before Mass begins, seeing how Father Ed prepares himself mentally for each Mass. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Father Ed, I know you're preparing for Mass right now. It's about to begin, but we just want everybody to know how you're feeling right now going into Mass. What are you thinking? I'm good. I'm good. I'm strong. I'm feeling it. You know, this is the most important thing I do as a priest. This is the most important thing we do as a church. Heck, this is the most important thing we do as the human race. I gotta be focused. I gotta be on my game. I gotta be focused like a laser. I gotta get the gospel into their heads. It's all about the mind game. I gotta get them to live this church a little bit more like Christ. Like a bunch of little G's I bursting out of this church. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. May God be with you. Gospel according to John. Gospel according to John. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Gospel according to John. May God be with you. According to John, the gospel according to John. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The gospel according to John. Is God be with you? Gospel according to John. It's game time. Well, there you have it. I gotta tell you, these guys obviously have a lot of focus going into the Mass. Now you see how Father Ed and probably every priest prepares for the Mass. I'll tell you what, talk about putting your heart in it. It's moving. I know it brought tears to my eyes. He is focused like a laser. I'm Ron Nowak. Thanks for being with us. Boy, Father, and I'm glad that movie was over. It was a little freaky. Woo! Were you scared? No, I wasn't scared. I'm just really glad that there's no such thing as pagan babies who'll never know Jesus. No such thing? You've obviously never met the core. The core? Father Ed, what would a pagan baby even look like? Well, they probably look like this! Stop it, Father!
stay alive, your body starts to shiver, for no mere mortal can resist the evil of the thriller. <laughs> This is the gauntlet. This game is called Beach Brawl. The object of the game is to push your opponent out of the circle. Best out of five wins. You got 20 minutes to pack your things and leave the diocese. Sorry. Actually, it's pink. You're fired. I said, you're all fired. I love the clapper. <laughs> you think you're so smart. What is the square root of pi times r to the power of a, where r equals the speed of light, and a equals the number of adverbs used by Jesus in the Gospel of John. One. Um. Uh, cake! Ah, uh, the weakest link. Goodbye. She bet, she bet, oh baby, she moved, she moved. I don't know, the beginning just wasn't really tight for me, dog. I didn't feel it, you know what I'm saying? And, and those outfits, whoa, 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 dog. What were you thinking, dog? You know the dances, it was I. Yeah, I just don't think this is the competition for you, dog. Yeah, try something else. Girl, you know what time it is. Oh my goodness. I thought I was going to win. Sorry, your time is up. Oh, they're in here, AKA Fred. Yo, yo, what up my home dogs? I know FD showed you his pad, but I'm not going to show you mine. Too much bling bling. You know what I'm saying. You already saw my ride. Next year I'm going to poke my ride. This is what I'm planning it to look like, except mine's going to have a glass box on top. That's right, my very own Pope Mobile. Well, I got to go. Word. Don't ever let me catch you in here. Peace out.
What is this icon of the sacred? It is your quest. He must be testing me. I need to show him I can do this. Okay, my quest. But how do I find the icon? There is an enchanter. <laughs> he is speaking in riddles. What is he talking about? In this enchanter of who you speak? He's seen the sacred icon? <laughs> Where does he live? <laughs> okay, Father Ed. Where does he live? He knows of a cave. A cave which, which no, no man, man has, has entered. entered. And the icon? The icon is there? <laughs> there is much danger. For beyond the cave lies the gorge of eternal peril, which no man has ever crossed. <laughs> Are you sure I can do this? Seek you the bridge of death. The bridge of death? I can't do this! This is another one of my favorite scenes. Carved in mystic runes upon the very living rock, the last words of Ulf in Bedwyr of Regged make plain the last resting place of the very Holy Grail. Holy Grail? I thought I was looking for an icon. Follow, but follow only if you be men of valor. For the entrance to this cave is guarded by a creature so foul so cruel that no man yet has fought with it and lived. Bones of full fifty men lie strewn about its lair. So, brave knights, if you do doubt your courage or your strength, come no further. For death awaits you all with big pointy nasty teeth. Follow, but... <laughs> Killing spree. Double kill. Kill-tacular. Indy, you know what's on after this? High School, High School Musical! Musical. You're invited to God's family. Free salvation for you? You can bring two godparents? Whoa! Free salvation for me? Now who should I choose for my godparent? Sister Barbara? Yes! And... T. Fred. Cool. Yeah. 
Not all the crew is Virtus trained or fingerprinted. Please, Diana, not now. Oh, fine. I, Captain Kirk, along with the crew of the Enterprise, will make sure that the Last Supper goes on. If it were to be stopped, the Catholic Church, as we know it, would cease to exist. Scotty, prepare for warp drive. Send us back in time. Aye, aye, Captain, and it's good to have you back, sir. otherwise known as the arch nemesis of Harry Potter. Other aliases he goes by is Tom Riddle and He Who Shall Not Be Named. I prefer the Dark Lord. What are you doing here? You're not even part of this movie franchise. You don't even belong in space. I am here to kill Harry Potter. I mean... The Starfleet Enterprise, is this not the Deathly Hallows? You see, Captain Kirk, you are good, and I am evil. If you are trying to prevent the Last Supper, then I must stop you. Abracadabra! Scotty, give us all she's got! I'm trying, sir! I'm giving her all she's got! I need somebody else down here! Bones! Get down there! Okay. Sorry. I... Father Ed, do you ever think that it would just be awesome to be a Jedi priest? Yes, Patrick. <clears throat> now go to bed. I okay. have a big day tomorrow. And I want you to get a good night's rest. Okay, good night, Father. Good night, Patrick. Sweet dreams. Thanks. I could be a Jedi, 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 Jedi. Okay, young Padawan. If Jedi you wish to be, train.
That's fine. How about like, just a thank you kiss? Uh, no, uh, we're, you're my sister. Uh, oh, okay. Follow me. Well, thanks anyways. Well, no thanks needed. Uh, don't mention it. Actually, ever. Please. Uh, <laughs> Father Master Yoda, I think I feel a disturbance in the Force. Disturbance indeed. I too feel it. It's not the Force you feel. Taco Bell it is. Yes, yes. Your ally is the Father's love. All around you it is. His grace is all around you. The Father is always there. Guide you, he will. Master Father Yoda, I'm not afraid. Oh, you will be. You will be. I'm ready to be a Jedi. So certain you are. Very eager you are, my young Padawan. Patience you must have. But I'm ready. I'm ready. That'll be all, Padawan Pat. God's force is strong with him but I sense much fear and discouragement in him. Yes, fear. Conflicted he is. What voice he will follow? Very uncertain it is. Pray we must. They don't trust me. They don't believe in me. What are they doing at the Jedi Seminary Temple? I'm worthy of being a Jedi priest! What's up with Father Patrick? We're just trick-or-treating! He's acting very odd. But I still think he's so great. Yeah, me too. I think he's just having a bad day. We should probably go pray for him. We should probably go to the hospital and have these mortal wounds looked at. They're only flesh wounds. Would you like a piece of candy? Oh, oh you're so, so sweet. sweet! Master Father Yoda, you summoned me? Time it is. Put away the ranger you must, and become the king. Master Father Yoda, what must I do? Face your fear, your ultimate fear, behind that door. That was awful, never make me do that again, please. Not that door, you idiot, oh. The other door, you must. Face your second greatest fear. Father Pat, you have to help me. My boyfriend just broke up with me and I don't know what to do. Father Pat, help me. I don't believe in God anymore. No! Oh! Oh! That is so freaky. Never again, please. That's so scary. Leave those two doors and go to the next door and face your ultimate fear. Your other, other ultimate fear. I'm not going to fight you. I'm never going to join you. Your thoughts betray you. You have a sister. If you will not join me, then maybe she will. No! you must be, but the dark side will deceive you, trick you it will. Whatever voice you listen to, direct your path, it will. Listen to it, and forever it will rule your destiny. No, no, 
No. Oh. No. Patrick. No. Wake up. You're having another bad dream. Father Master Yoda, I had just had the worst dream. I, I became that which I feared. But All it was right. just a dream. It was, it was just a dream. All right. Just settle down oh. and go back to sleep. Oh, okay. Okay. Dream, was it? Come, R2. Let's finish putting you back together. And he must never know that you exist. Some called him a prophet, some called him a saint, some couldn't believe their eyes on the words they had to say. Some called